And believe it or not, he is the number one killer when it comes to natural phenomenon. It's not tornadoes, it's not flooding rains, it is heat. It kind of goes uh, under the radar a little bit here, right? So just keep that in mind later in the week when we start to heat up as well. In fact, I think by Friday it may end up being the hottest day of the season so far. But check out forecasted highs today. Phoenix again going for 110, Vegas 113, Dallas 104, Albuquerque 101, Wichita 102. So just a wide range of 100 plus degree temperatures, which isn't uncommon for this part of the country. But what is uncommon is when you have 20, 25 days up over 110 degrees. Look at Bismarck, 94 today. Chicago's going to be 92, and that's the hot air that's going to be working in here as we get deeper into the week. As that jet stream lifts to the north, it's going to bring in all the hot air that has been across the south. So hot but dry tomorrow, not overly humid, and no showers or thunderstorms expected tomorrow. Oppressive heat and humidity Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, all three days, with Friday being the hottest and most oppressive. And then there will be storms around Thursday and Saturday. We have to watch out for that as well. A few of those storms, both of those days could be on the strong to severe side. So probability of rain today, especially in the lower valley, I think our odds are pretty good that we're going to get a scattered shower or thunderstorm. Then way down tomorrow, back up Thursday late in the day, way down Friday, back up on Saturday. Thursday is with the heat and humidity an area of low pressure heading our way. And Saturday is that cold front, the final push of drier air that'll be arriving here for the second half of the weekend. So you're 24 showing the clouds giving way to sunshine this morning. Spot shower around noontime, then scattered showers and storms. A storm or two could be on the strong the severe side, especially for Hamden in the Hampshire County mid afternoon as we go into the evening as the system moves through behind it, it is going to bring in slightly drier air. So the dew points come down a little bit tomorrow. However, temperatures actually go up. We'll be near 90 tomorrow, but not overly humid. However, on Thursday, we're going to be up near 90 with dew points in the 60s to near 70. So it is going to be very humid and we have to watch out for late day showers and storms, a few of which could be on the strong to severe side. Storm chances go down on Friday, so we hang on to sunshine pretty much all day. That'll warm us up even further. Low to mid 90s with dew points near 70. That'll bring those heat indices or feel like temps up to near 100 come Friday. So that is probably going to be the hottest day. And then Saturday, it's still very warm and muggy, but showers and storms will be moving through. So your next weather maker is an area of low pressure that comes in here late Thursday. That could bring us a round of strong to severe storms, perhaps Thursday evening into the first half of Thursday night. That moves out, and it's all about the heat and humidity on Friday. Then a cold front will arrive here, and that is on Saturday at some point during the day, likely going to get some showers and storms. We'll time it out a little better as we draw closer to it that should push out for the second half of the weekend where drier air comes on in. So for the last weekend of July, let's plan on some storms on Saturday. Could touch 90, at least in the middle and upper 80s. Real humid on Saturday, then much drier. A nice day on Sunday, a blend of sun and clouds. Highs look to be near 80, but those dew points will be falling uh, going down into the 50s. So for this afternoon, middle 80s with a few showers and storms. Uh, best chance of storms along the pike, and we could see a strong and severe storm as well, hence first little weather day today. Then overnight tonight, partial clearing, cool and dry by morning, upper 50s in a few spots, low to mid 60s for a lot of us. And then tomorrow, it's a warm one, but not overly humid, a high near 90, but then it's hot and humid on Thursday. Chance of late day storms Thursday into Thursday night. Friday, it is going to be hot. Storm chances go down, but that'll actually uh, be the hottest day. Uh, it'll feel like it's between 95 and 100. So most likely we're going to have heat advisories Friday, maybe Thursday. We'll see how that plays out. Thursday is going to be problematic, though, because of the storms as well. So a lot of red here, a lot of potential first alert weather days. Then Sunday, a pattern change, cooler, drier stuff. Sunday in the beginning part of next week. All right, we'll have one final check of the forecast in a few minutes. David, over to you.